the stars can give you direction <laughs> if you have them on a you know on a day like this where uh, where you know there's a lot of cloud down around the around the horizon and there's cloud up there to block out a lot of the a lot of the, the the lesser stars but the major stars that you that you that you know you know they'll they'll burn through a lot of this sort of cloud cover The Aurere crew has used this method of navigation since its maiden voyage to Rarotonga 14 years ago. The trip to Rapa Nui is perhaps their greatest challenge ever. It will complete their coverage of the Polynesian Triangle. <laughs> Long ocean voyages aren't new for Te Aurere. In 1992 they proved that Polynesians navigated the vast Pacific Ocean using traditional knowledge of the stars, winds and sea currents by sailing from Aotearoa to Rarotonga. Jack was on that voyage. Despite two major storms and criticism back home, Te Aurere's maiden voyage was a success. And sharing traditional sailing and navigational skills among our Pacific relations ensures these Tonga won't be lost. It takes a certain type of person to withstand the rigours of sailing. It's not easy to, um, to learn. Uh, you know, learning about the stars, doing all that sort of stuff, learning where the sun is, that's, that's easy, that's quite easy, you know, it just takes a little bit of application. When you're out on the ocean and you've got nothing around you, and if it's like this, what do you do? You know, those are the, those are the hard times, and you've got a, a lot of it's instinct, a lot of it's um, knowledge, a lot of it's experience. Uh, undo these, and then we need two people on the on the sheet lines to pull the, to pull the, to pull the sail open. This space cadet has always had a fascination with the stars. I'm still quite passionate about that sort of stuff, you know, and I'm a Trekkie, you know, Star Trek. <laughs> the, the enjoyment I got from, from, from astronomy and stuff like that, you know, we're studying about the stars and things and, and that, uh, that, I, that I got more into it. His interest peaked when he met the Grand Master of Celestial Navigation, Mo Piailu of Micronesia, and became one of his students. He actually told me to break down each part of your voyage into easily remembered sections and then remember those sections and then, you know, uh, know everything that's going to happen and know the, the tool that you're going to use to keep direction. And, you know, you sail through that part and then you change on to the next one, know what the conditions are, use the tohu that you have for that particular part, sail on to the next one and do that. And then the make straight part was getting close and, uh, and finding the island. Takina mai rā ko ngā hui o Matariki, puanga tautoru, kā ngaro atu tahi, maa e karewa. Last year, Jack built a land-based star compass to promote learning and understanding of the stars, elements and the gods. This is uh, Tafiri Matia, our westernmost popo. Tafiri is here representing our um, prevailing winds because all of our prevailing winds are from the are from the west. So it's appropriate that uh, that Tafiri Matia holds this position of our star compass.